Hello, my name is Tony Beers, and this is Movie Grades. Hey everybody, Tony Beers here again. I'm with my friend Jason again this time. And you guys saw my review of Pacific Rim, so I'm going to talk to him, see what he thinks about it, and we're going to discuss it movie a little bit here. We'll start off with uh, acting. How did what do you think of the acting on Pacific Rim? I thought the acting was really good. I mean, um, like I told you, there's a few corny parts, but they were. I overlooked them. The rest of the movie was excellent. Um, I didn't know any of the actors, really. The guy that played the general, was his name? Adrian Selva. Adrian Selva. I recognized him. He did a great job. Great job as a general. The lady, Meku, she was good. The guy that played the main the main character, I don't really know who he is, but he did, he did a pretty good job. I, I was pretty happy with his performance. So I like the two genius guys, whatever. The one guy was like, Sorry, thought outside the box. The other guy was like, no, you got to stick to the numbers. I mean, those two <laughs> together was good. You were talking about the little girl in your review. She, yes. I, I, she did a good job. You could feel her being scared and everything oh, yeah. in the in the in the visions I, I really did enjoy that that was really good I don't have nothing bad to say about the acting I was talking to Robin on the phone mm -hmm. and he went to see with with Mike you know other toxic pop member Mike uh, they went to see it and they were he was uh, talking about something he wanted to bring up and that was that some of the characters some of the actors um, didn't didn't quite get enough time to 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 uh, know what the characters were about and stuff like oh. like well he mentioned the Chinese triplets like I don't think oh, they yeah, even they, said a word they, in the movie. well it was in Chinese I think it didn't show them that much right, just right. like when uh, they when they were training they showed them a few times there and then then when they were in the robot and showed them like doing that thing wherever they had the third arm come out or whatever yeah. I mean it, yeah you're right it, it didn't show much of them or the Russian people either. Yeah. It barely showed them. And yeah. they were like one of the best y Jaegers or whatever. Yeah, I kind of agree with you on there. It was, but, but case in point, the way I looked at it is it was more centered around that guy who right. lost his brother. Right. And now they bring him back because he was the only other one to pilot one by himself. Yeah. So I could see that point, but I would have liked it a little bit more with the other, the other members of the Jaeger teams. I think that would have been a little bit better as far as that goes. One, one thing that I wanted to point out that I, I didn't say in my review. The first time I saw the Russians, I immediately thought, was it Rocky IV? <laughs> I, Ivan Drago and, and I, his girlfriend. I, I, I must guess. break you. <laughs> I, I immediately thought of them because the, the blonde Russians, you know. Yeah, it did, so. it did have that too. I didn't even think about that until now. <laughs> yeah, she even had to like, shoot the, shoot the, shoot the missiles or something she was saying. And yeah, it's yeah. like, oh yeah, it's kind of, it, 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 it's funny how they portray them like that all the time. Though. Yeah, they, they, they were kind of stereotypes, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> when characters have such small parts, you just kind of get get the basics in mm -hmm. there. You can't if they don't have, have a big parts, you just kind of just make them stereotype so everybody knows. Okay, those are the Russians. Yeah. You know? Okay, well let's let's talk about the special effects. What do you think of the special effects? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal job. Uh, I think in your review you were saying how great they were too. But, um, <sighs> I, I couldn't tell if I mean it looks so real even when the robots and stuff I mean it looks so real when they're walking in the water and you know and, and then the when they're under the water I mean it, it looked all it was all fluid it just flowed so nice it was like you, you know you've seen some movies where it's like oh I could tell that's CG yeah you couldn't really tell I mean it, it looks it was just everything flowed real well like, nothing bad to say about the special yeah. effects one of the probably so far the best I and I like Man of Steel's effects, yeah. but these were way better. I think. I think they did a lot better job on on the, on this uh, special effects, and then, and then the, like the the weaponry and stuff was really good. Um, trying to think of what else, um, you know, fights the the, the the you know, the special effects and the fighting and 
the kaiju and all those body parts and stuff. Those things look real. I mean, they were really cool. They did a good job on it. I really, I really enjoyed it. The special effect. I like that you could some of them uh, kaiju. You could tell that they kind of based them on some actual like animals and stuff. Like yeah. one, one looked like a gorilla to me. A little bit. And one looked like a shark. They had a, they, a, they a had a combinations of different animals. I, I, I could see that, but it also kind of reminded me of the like the bugs on Starship Troopers a little bit. They had that yeah, kind yeah. of like the mouth and stuff. Yeah. And the shooting stuff out of it. It, it kind of reminded me of that a little bit too. I would have to agree with you on that though. There was definitely combinations. Some of the ones that were in the water were uh, one looked like a kind of like an eel or something, didn't it? Uh, I think so. It's been a while yeah. since I've seen the movie, but yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did. But yeah. you know, it, the special effects were great. The, the, the creatures looked great. The robots looked great. Um, the destruction looked great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it was good. Definitely yeah, good. Yeah. I wanted to bring up, you know, Jason is our as our music expert for Toxic Pop Pierce, so I have to ask you about the music. Great. Great. Uh, like when he was giving the speech and the music that was playing, I was like, yeah, I was getting inspired. You know, it, 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 like I told you before, music and movies go hand in hand. If you don't Definitely. get it right, right, it don't it set the mood. I mean, exactly. obviously, like when we watched Man of Steel, the music was real bland, mm -hmm. the scenery was real bland. You know, it music sets the mood. It, I don't care what kind of music it is, it sets the mood. Somebody's going in a fight, if you hear, like, I don't know, Disturbed, you get pumped up, you oh, yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, or Metallica. Metallica. Um, <laughs> no, the music was excellent. The score, I don't know who did it. Mm -hmm. I, it might have been Hans Zimmer. <laughs> I don't know. But no, uh, I don't, think so. I don't know. Um, it... Like when he was giving a speech, though, that music was playing. It, it you got inspired. Oh yeah, it, it, it was great. And yeah. the fight scene music was great. Um, I can't really say anything bad about it. It was it, it was perfect. That's something I didn't mention in, in my review was the speech that he gives. They don't show all of it in the tra in the trailer, but you get some of it. And it, that's what made me pumped about the movie is seeing that him give that speech in, that, in that trailer. Just that those final last words. You know, we are canceling the apocalypse. Yeah. I, lo I love that. That was line. a great line. Great line. But I have to say, it, it's almost up there with I think it's Bill Pullman's speech in Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah, that was a great speech too. <laughs> it. Uh, get you pumped and excited. You're listening to this guy, and you're like, "Hell yeah, I'm I'm ready to f I want to fight with these guys." Yeah, I'm know? ready to go. That's how I was. I was yeah. like, when he started talking his speech, I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> you know, I, I leaned to the screen closer because I was yeah. getting into it. I yeah. mean, it was in the music. I don't think the Bill Pullman speech had music, but it, it did. But it, 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 it maybe was like, but, but the music was playing. With I mean, the, you could hear it. it was, they had that just tone, and it was like, "Yeah, let's go." You know, and I was mm -hmm. as pumped up as they were to get out there and fight them monsters. You know, exactly. And are you a fan of, of Godzilla movies? Yes, I, I loved them when I was a kid. I, I haven't seen one in a long time, but I always like, well, I like Godzilla, but I always liked his son. <laughs> Remember the God? What was they call him? Godzuki or something? I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I don't not, know, in, you, I'm you, not into Godzilla movies I, myself. So. <laughs> I liked them. I used to watch them Saturday mornings all the time. I really did enjoy them. Yeah, well, that's when I was a kid. That's one of the thing uh, that Robin was talking about when I was talking to him was he was saying. That they 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 kind of had a little bit of the Godzilla theme in there. A little bit, I, I well, especially with the kaiju or whatever kaiju. Yeah. kaiju. I can't say it right, <laughs> but it, it it's like I told you before. This movie reminded me of a combination of a lot of different things. Godzilla. Yeah. You said the Independence Day a little bit in there. Um, I would say like Voltron. If you, <laughs> nobody knows what that is. I'm sure um, a lot of people know Robotech. That. Robotech, yeah. Be old school with, the, with some of this. Go, go, Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Um, it had a lot of those elements in it. Right. And, and a lot of those, the, all those shows were great. Right. Great shows. Well, um, personally, I don't like Power Rangers, but go ahead. Well, <laughs> not me either, but I just had to throw it in there because it reminded me of of the the, Zo the Zoids or Zoids right, right. or whatever that's yeah, I don't even know what they're called. But there's there's a different definitely uh, a Japanese. Oh, culture def influence in the film. Oh, definitely. Um, no, sword. Oh, yeah, that's sword. <laughs> I, was, I, I was thinking the same thing, like you said, Loopy said, yeah. Like, Voltron. Foreign Blazing Sword. <laughs> exactly. uh, no, I mean, yeah, those, but like I said, it had a lot of those different elements, and obviously, you know, Voltron come from Japan. Yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came from Japan. Robotech was definitely from Japan, we know that. And then, of course, Godzilla. I mean, exactly. And Independence Day was more of this story from here. I, I'm trying to think. 
and I think it had a little bit of Iron Man ish in it too with like technology and stuff. Um, I'd say, I mean, that it, it, it worked really well together. Well, to get back on the music, yeah, like I'm not a big Godzilla fan, but I rec I think I recognized it when I heard it because you because uh, I think there was a scene, there's a couple scenes. One, they were going down in the water, and you and you heard started the music, and I think it sounded like. Wah. You know, yeah. some, something like that. Yeah, so I, I, so I recognized it too, even though I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, it was it was in there. It, it was in there. Yeah. I, it might not have been the same song, but it was like a homage, uh, probably. Yeah. Action? Did we talk about action? Uh, well, a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. The action was phenomenal. Uh, mm -hmm. The fight scenes were freaking off the charts. I mean. It's monsters and robots. I mean, um, it, it the way they they you know the pilots had to do with the, you know they were one work one half one work the other half basically and yeah. it had to work together. I thought that was great how they did that, and the fight scenes were great. I mean, I'm kind of like with you. Why didn't they just use the sword right <laughs> off the bat instead of right? And then get knocked around a few times, and then get their crap damaged, and then oh well, we got a sword. Okay, let's use a sword. I think didn't they have like rockets? Why, why didn't you use the rockets, rockets right off the bat? You know, I had a little, I had a little problem with that. Of like, you got this monster robot that you have control of, and you can use swords and stuff, and you'd rather punch them. <laughs> no, I'd rather use a sword. Thank you. But uh, uh, no, that, that goes back to what we're saying about the Japanese culture. That's how they they did that in their in their movies and their shows. They always busted out the good stuff for the way for the last to do that. Yeah. So that's that's just part of their culture, I guess. I guess that's so. why we're different because I had to use the sword first. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but the action was great. I mean, oh yes. By far, uh, and I thought Man of Steel action was great too. But this movie. As far as I'm concerned, man, they they've hit a they almost hit a, a grand slam. Yeah, the story. What do you think of the story? I like the story, and when I was when I was telling you, um, I love the way they started the movie. Yeah. Like the whole big thing with his brother, and you know they kicked all the crap out of these monsters. And they didn't have a record or something, like 10 in a row or something that they stopped. Yeah. And they go in this big thing, and then the one that they don't beat, and his brother gets killed. Spoiler. What? Oh, yeah, sorry, it's a spoiler. <laughs> um, why he's still connected to him, because they're connected. Yeah. And he basically was feeling everything his brother was feeling. And then he crash lands on what, was it Alaska, I think it was? Yes, Alaska. And... <laughs> <laughs> the guy and his, is it his son he was with, I think? Uh, I think uh, they son were, or grandson, they were, because he looked kind of old. Well, yeah, maybe his grandson. They were, like, looking for coins or something, <laughs> weren't they, with, like, a metal detector? And he's right. like, do 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 they see this big robot falling, and then <laughs> the guy comes out, and then it goes, Pacific Rim. And I was like, wow, that was just the beginning? I mean, that right there set the tone of the movie for oh, me, exactly. right there. I was like, man, that's... you right in. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, how many movies you know have like a ten-minute intro before they even show what the movie the title is? Right. I don't think I could think of one offhand. Toxic Pop has a new Facebook page. Like it to see pictures and keep informed about our upcoming events and videos. A link is in the description. Go to www.facebook.com/toxicpop1.